Hello and welcome to Health Talk. I'm Dr. Manny. Did you know that almost one in 10 Americans have rare diseases? That's any disease, disorder, illness, or condition that affects fewer than 200,000 people. Living with a rare disease often means limited information and few, if any, treatment options. My guest today was diagnosed with a form of Castleman disease, a condition that acts like a cross between cancer and autoimmune disorder. But when he relapsed on the only drug in development for his disease, he took matters into his own hands and began his quest for a cure. Dr. David Fagenbaum, an assistant professor at the University of Pennsylvania's Perlman School of Medicine and author of his new memoir, Chasing My Cure, is here to discuss his journey. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, beautiful title, Chasing My Cure. So, so let's get to it. Uh, we talked about rare diseases. One in 10 affects Americans. You were diagnosed with Castleman disease. What is that? It's a rare disorder that causes the immune system to attack your vital organs. So I went from being this totally healthy third year medical student to having my immune system attack my liver, kidneys, bone marrow, and end up in the intensive care unit at the now, same hospital I was in. Your symptoms at, at the time, what were they? First, it was just fatigue. I, I just felt um, more tired than I'd ever felt before. Got some abdominal pain. I noticed fluid accumulating in my legs and didn't know why. Yeah. Noticed some lumps in my neck. And after I took actually an OBGYN exam, my shelf exam, right. I went down the hall to the emergency department and told them about my symptoms. They did blood work and they said, David, your liver, kidneys, and bone marrow are shutting down. How quickly did they come up with this diagnosis? The diagnosis took about 11 weeks. Most of that time I was in the intensive care unit. I had a retinal hemorrhage and went blind in my left eye. I gained about 70 pounds of fluid. And I was so sick that I had my last rites read to me right around the time the diagnosis was made. Fortunately, they started me on chemotherapy right around the time the diagnosis was made. It saved my life, but unfortunately, I would have a number of additional relapses. Yeah. When they told you the final diagnosis, was it in your radar? It wasn't. I, I had this one memory from medical school of hearing the word Castleman disease. I had to look it up. <laughs> I mean, when I, before you coming, I got to tell you, because it is it is very, very rare. Yeah, there are only 5,000 cases diagnosed each year in the U.S., but actually that's about as common as ALS. And of course, people know ALS much more. Right. And we need more awareness, and we need even more. But unfortunately, there are rare diseases like Castleman's that also are poorly understood. So, w w you know, given this diagnosis, rare disease, the question then becomes... Why me and what is a rare disease? As, and as I mentioned, a rare disease is that, of, you know, it affects a very small population. Mm -hmm. It has a very isolated group of people. What, what was going through your mind on that? So I was terrified, a disease I'd never heard of. I looked it up online. I Googled the disease and yeah. I found some really scary numbers about patients not living more than a couple years after diagnosis. About a third of us diagnosed with my disease die within five years of diagnosis. Another third will die within 10 years of diagnosis. As a 25-year-old, that was frightening. Right. Um, but fortunately, the chemotherapy worked for the first time. When I relapsed again, I was started on an experimental drug, the only drug that's ever undergone a clinical trial like this for my disease. And unfortunately, I relapsed on that drug. Mm. And then I was left with no more answers. Um, graduated from medical school? I did. Uh, so, and then you took a quest to find your own cure, and, uh, which I think is fantastic. Tell me about that pathway. Sure. So when I relapsed from the only drug in development and my doctor told me that there was nothing coming down the pipeline and there were no promising leads, that's when I promised my dad, my sisters, and my now wife that I would dedicate the rest of my life, however long that may be, to trying to cure this disease. And for me, that was creating a foundation called the Castleman Disease Collaborative Network to drive forward research internationally, but also to begin conducting laboratory work at the University of Pennsylvania, where I was a medical student at the time. Where are we today with your foundation and the, and the people that uh, you kind of, you know, these cures that are being developed, which are very important. So we've made a lot of progress. In the last seven years since I started the CDCN, we've invested about a million dollars into research, which has led to an additional $7 million in external funding from the government and from nonprofits. And with that funding, with what's a relatively limited amount of funding, we've identified the first novel drug target in 25 years, mm -hmm. published the first diagnostic criteria, the first treatment guidelines, and we're making a lot of progress. That drug target that we identified, I actually identified in my lab using my own samples. Um, it was a communication line called the mTOR pathway. 
And based on my research, I thought a drug that targets mTOR could, could save my you, life. Yeah. And so I started myself on this drug, Serolimus, about five and a half years ago. Right. And I've been in remission ever since. Oh, well, that's, this is fantastic. One last question. Uh, I mean, the, 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 you, you, you know, you were a doctor. You began to realize symptoms that needed to be checked out. R regular Joe with a mm -hmm. rare disease, how can they help? What should they do? So if you have a rare disease, you can absolutely get involved in raising money, raising awareness, and connecting people, you know, bringing people together. You know, I, I wrote this book not just for people with Castleman disease or just people with mm -hmm. rare diseases. I, I wrote this book because there's lessons that I've learned about life, lessons about living from nearly dying five times, lessons that hopefully will inspire people to turn their hopes into action and create silver linings in the midst of tough times. All right. Where can people get more information about they the book? Chasing My Cure is available nationwide in bookstores, and you can go to ChasingMyCure.com to find out more information. All right. Listen, very inspiring, uh, a lot of good information, and uh, I'm glad that uh, there are doctors like you out there. Thank we you. We need more. I'm glad there's doctors like you. All right. Well, thank you so much thank for being you. here. And if you have a health question, send a tweet to Fox News Health. Until next time, I'm Dr. Manny.